Okay then, so the benchmark thermals for the Vectro V5. At With the 5900 decks, I did enable PBO because it does initially draw more power. So you would get a better understanding on how much the CPU cooler can actually cope with. Now, Cinebench R23, the idle was 36 Celsius. The Max was an 86 Celsius. Blender Classroom, the idle was 36. Max was an 83. Blender BMW, the idle was 36 Celsius. The Max was an 83 Celsius. 3D Mark CPU te test, the idle was a 36. Max was a 75. Now, during the beginning of the test, it did actually start drawing 175 watts, but during the Cinebench run, it went from 175 watts down to 165 watts, and it hit 80 Celsius within 30 seconds. So, the Burst Assassin 120 RGB. Now, exactly the same testing, but this time, when it the initial testing for Cinebench R23, it did hit 190 watts, on the package for a 5900X with PBO enabled. So, Cinebench R23 idles with 33 Celsius, the Max was an 81. Blender Classroom, the idles with 34 Celsius, the Max was an 80. Blender BMW, the idles with 34 Celsius, the Max was an 80 Celsius. 3D Mark CPU test, the idles with 34 Celsius, the Max was a 71. And the CPU went from 190 watts down to 176 watts during testing. Okay, look, right? The Burst Assassin whipped the V5's butt. But, remember, the Burst Assassin is built a lot better. It does have an extra heat pipe. It does have a dedicated coal plate. The mounting on it is a lot more superior because of the way they use the mountain now vector v5 when it first came out it was initially a 19 to 20 pound cooler but at the moment they've jumped the price up from 20 to 30. that's probably because of jay from jay's two cents because he did a video about it and he made them go out to stock on amazon now yes Vetro are based in the US, so that's going to happen. But what I will say is the Burst Assassin is designed better, it looks better, and of course, it's a lot cheaper. The Burst Assassin is £18.98. That's £18.98 pence on Amazon. Link down below if you want to buy it. The Vetro is £29.99. £30. There is £11 difference between both coolers. If the Vetro is priced at 20 then it would actually be a decent deal. But because they've put the pricing up, I'm sorry, but bye-bye Vetro V5. The best cooler is to get the Burst Assassin. It will perform just as good or even better than coolers that are priced higher which i've just proven so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and of course this is richard from welsh tech i hope you guys have a fantastic day don't forget that i do have how to water cool and i am also water cooling my editing rig so make sure you subscribe for that one this is richard from welsh tech good bye